Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be playing Cape Clements Tasmania. This course was designed by Heisenberg. It is loosely based on Australia's number two course, Cape Wickham. It is a par 71, fairways and greens are normal, the green speeds are medium fast, weather is clear, time of day is dusk. Let's check out the tee options. There are three tees. We will be swinging from the black tees, which are playing 6,873 yards. And as always, pin set number one. Thank you so much for the continued support on the channel. If you haven't already done so, please make sure to smash the subscribe button. And if you are enjoying the content, please leave a like. So here we are on hole number one. And what an impressive opening tee shot. Lovely landscape and environment. I cannot wait to get my teeth into this course. This course was designed on PGA Tour 2K21. I sadly never got round to playing it on the previous game. So I'm looking forward to my first round on the course. Good opening tee shot. I think this ball's going to kick left. Fairways look very undulating. So I can only assume we're going to be playing a lot of shots off the slopes, bumps, and angled fairways. I think pitching wedge is made for this. Going to play for the right hand side of the pin. Slope's going to shoot left. It's a tiny slow, but it is a good strike. Now, is this ball going to sit down? Wow, that ball is absolutely flew. That bounced at 147 yards. I think it's a 141 um, club. And that is going to leave me a tricky chip shot. The greens look very active. I can only assume this is going to be a real test from tee to green. But let's see if we can chip this one close. Good execution. This has got a chance of dropping. Just miss on the right-hand side. And that is going to set up a tap-in par from three feet out. Green speeds are 162. But some of you eagle-eyed subscribers have mentioned and noticed... I am playing with a certain skill perk that makes the greens um, five yards quicker, if that's the proper terminology, than they should be than the default. So I've got no idea um, which perk it is. I can only assume it's the putter. But if any of you do know how to remove that, please let me know in the comment section. So I'll tiny fast on a pool left. And we have missed the green to the left-hand side, and this is going to be nasty. Let's see if we can just chip this one close. This ball's going to want to run on for days, so just got to land this at the front of the green, which we've done. It's another great execution. And I've left myself a four-foot putt for the par save, which I do convert. It's a solid start to the round. And I'm certainly getting the impression that this is going to be a test in course, especially on master swing difficulty. Hole number three, first of the par fives. Stunning views, by the way. I'm going to try and take this down the left-hand side of the fairway. That wind should help me out. It's another really good swing. This ball is going to kick over to the right-hand side. And can we reach the green in two? It's going to be close, 237 yards. We can comfortably get there in two. There's a shipwreck off there in the distance. I do believe that this area was renowned for shipwrecks until they did erect a lighthouse back in the old days. Now, I would rather be short and long here, so I'm just going to try and lay up. That slope at my feet's really going to move me hard right. Or it isn't. That slope did not move me whatsoever, so the 8 mile per hour wind is going to take me over to the left hand side. And that is going to be a test in putt. We are pin high. A test in chip even. At least it's uphill, so we can be fairly aggressive here. Beautiful execution. The ball checks up on the right hand side of the cup. And we should be walking away with our first birdie. And I do move to one under par but I do find the slopes guys very um, frustrating at times they never seem to be consistent so short par 4 wind is going to take us from left to right it's another lovely strike we get the 103% power is this going to kick up onto the dance floor oh that's an awkward kick fortunately it holds on to the fairway let's see if we can chip this one close 
Ball's going to shoot left at my feet. Green should bring it back to the right. Ah, oh, it's a black slow. That could run off the green, you know. With that black slow, the ball comes up short right. That's a terrible chip. Should have gotten so much closer there after that good drive. So an uphill putt for the birdie. Breaking both ways. It's a good putt line. We've got the weight. Has it got the line? Oh, we had the weight. It just turned left at the last second. And that's a disappointing par. That means we do stay at one under. Hole number five. I do like these bunkers and gorse dividing the fairways. I'm going to try and take this down the left-hand side once again. Using that wind. Oh, it's a tiny grey slow. That is going to be bunker bound. These hazards in the centre of the fairway are just like magnets for me when I play. And that's horrible. Certainly not going to reach the green in two now. Because I can't be too greedy. We're right up against the face of this bunker. I'm just going to loft up seven iron. Try and leave this just short of the green. And hopefully get up and down for par. It's another slight slope. It's a nice bounce off the, the back of that bunker. And this is going to be another chip shot. Got to get this one close. Just applied full backspin. And we can fully attack this. It's a grey slow, but this should turn left. It's going to be a test and putt, you know. It's probably going to be a tricky one from about 6-7 feet out. It's actually 10 feet. It's certainly missable. That should turn. Oh, it does turn, and that is a fantastic par save. Keeps me at one under par. Hole number six. This is a beautiful par three. It really is a stunning golf course. He really has nailed the environment. So playing the wind here. It's a lovely strike. This needs to get down, though. I think it's going to be a little bit long, but there is a slight backstop. Almost hold that out. That should come back down towards the cup a little bit. And that was a fantastic tee shot. That could have went so wrong on Master Swing difficulty. It's left me a downhill putt. Hopefully we can convert this for our second birdie. It's a good line. And that deserved the birdie, that tee shot. Absolutely fantastic hole. And we step onto the seventh at two under par. So not pull par five, but not the longest of courses, to be fair. But this really is a thinking man's course. You do have to plan your shot, especially from fairway to green. The greens do offer a real challenge. But the sculpting of this course so far is second to none. Really impressive. It's just a gorgeous course to look at. So five wood off the deck. Once again, wind and the slope going to shoot me right. There's a laser beam perfect almost. Come on, kick left. That slope this time moved me more to the right than I allowed. And we've actually failed to land on the green, but it should be a straightforward chip. Let's see if we can chip this one in. Certainly going to be fairly aggressive. At least we should be walking away with birdie here. Oh my goodness. With that grey fast, that ball just shot left there. Seven feet to the cup. It's still a very makeable pop from seven feet out. Just going to play this farm. And I do walk away with our third birdie off the round. But Heisenberg does have a fantastic course portfolio. Mainly RCRs, I do believe. But I think we can comfortably carry this bunker once again. Right plumb in the centre off the fairway. There's a perfect... 104% power. Hopefully this doesn't kick hard right. Is this going to hold on to the right-hand side of the fairway? It looks as if it should. There's a little lip there. And that's a good tee shot. 116 yards, up 18 feet. Some wedge should be made for this with that 10 mile per hour wind behind me. It's looking to land this at the front of the green. And hopefully it does release out a little bit. It's another grey slow. And with that, we have failed to reach the green. And this is going to be a testing little chip. Look at the elevation gain here. I'm stood five feet below the pin. 
That's a good shot. Certainly didn't want to leave that short. I wish it would have checked up a little bit quicker. An eight foot putt. That should turn. It does turn. And it's another solid part. I think you've really got to bring your A game here if you want to shoot low. I don't think I'm swinging poorly. But the odd grey slow. We've manoeuvred ourselves around the course pretty well. That's a tiny slope, and wow, look how far right that ball is shifting. This should kick left. A 10 mile per hour wind, tiny grey slope, combining to really move that ball hard right. And this is a tough green. So full backspin here to the pitching wedge, and I'm going to try and play for the left hand side off the flag. That's a decent strike. The wind is taking that round. This should be right next to the flag stick. Sit down. That's a fantastic approach shot. Played that really, really well. Straightforward putt. Probably breaking more to the right here. But just going centre the cup farm. I can't believe that missed. How on earth did that not drop for a birdie? I don't understand that. Even looking back at it, I can't understand how that putt missed. Once again... The unpredictability of the game rearing its ugly head. But hole number 10, par 3, 7 mile per hour wind. Anything too far left or too far right, the ball's going to disappear. But 6 iron should be good. Ah, oh, that was a huge slow. I felt it. And that is coming up way short. And I could well be looking at my first bogey of the round here. I'm going to try and flop this. I just need to find the back of this bunker and let it kick out. It's a pure lie. There's the, the bank. This is going to start to turn right though. I thought I would have got more kick off that bank. I probably should have went for the longer flop shot there. Try to be too creative. But it's a makeable putt. That should turn. Come on, ball, turn. Once again, absolutely robbed. So robbed with the birdie on the previous hole, robbed with a par, which now means a bogey, and I do slip from three under to two under. I should be four under here. But this is another short par four. Not going to reach the green due to the, the false front. But swinging well. This is going to kick hugely over to the left-hand side. This is such a fun course to play. And it really is offering up a challenge here. I'm only two under par. But let's see if we can chip this one up towards the pen. That's came up way short early. Wow. I can't believe that's came up as short as that. I've really made a mess of this. At least I should have been another 10 feet closer. This is a tough putt for the birdie now. We've got the weight. Have we got the read turn? Get in. It's a fantastic putt. I do pick up my fourth birdie off the round. And that takes me back to three under par. But the par threes really are terrific. Plenty of variation. But the views out with the course as well are just stunning. Four irons got to be good here playing. The slope on the left-hand side. We hit as well. This should get a nice kick from left to right towards the pin. It should come off this bank. Go on. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. It's another fantastic tee shot. It is going to give me a decent look at birdie. But these greens are slick. This is a tough part. Downhill. Surely that turns. Oh my goodness, it's just going to be one of these rounds where nothing drops. I'm sure you've all been there. How on earth I'm only three under here, I will never know. But hole number 13, 12 mile per hour wind, so I'm just going to draw this a little bit against the wind, take it down the left hand side and hopefully find the left centre off the fairway. It's another fantastic tee shot. But in my opinion, this course is playing fairly tough. 
Maybe I'm just making it look tougher than what it is. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. This is another tough pin. Green slopes away from left to right. Looking to land this on the left-hand side of the pin. Now that one just did not feel like a slope. I think that's my third or fourth one of the round. And this is going to be nasty. I've came up way short, right? Look at the outhouse buildings there. Off in the distance. Fantastic detail. And this is a monster pot. 63 feet. Uphill by two foot. Breaking both ways, but mainly turning from left to right. Can we lag this close? I've definitely got the weight. This is on a good line. I think it's just going to miss on the right. Came up short anyway. Solid enough par. But one poor shot on any hole, and you are in a world of trouble. This is an elevated fairway from the tee box. Hopefully I avoid the bunkers with that 9 mile per hour wind. That's another grey slow, that's terrible. I think we're going to get away with it, but it's going to come up so, so short. I cannot seem to hit anything other than a slow at the moment, especially off the tee. I'm going to have to hit driver here. Try and get below the green to the right-hand side. Just going to fully loft this up to make sure we carry over the bunkers. But the scenery is honestly second to none. This course looks so good on my TV in 4K. I just don't think YouTube does it justice at times. But that really is a good recovery shot. It's going to leave me nothing more than a pitch. There is a slope, so no need to be long. Just going to apply a little bit of top spin. Play that slope. It's about 15 feet short of the pin. It's a really good execution. This should kick left down the slope towards the flag. And that has set up a really good birdie opportunity. Nine feet out. Turning from right to left. It should turn. It does turn right into the heart of the cup. That's my fifth birdie of the round. But due to that one bogey, we are only four under. And once again, par threes are stunning. This time it's a short par three. Let me try and play the slope on the right-hand side. So the wind should comfortably move me from right to left. Oh, there's a tiny grey slope. And with all the shape I've put on this, aka the backspin, that is just going to be punished. And this is going to be a horrible putt. I don't see how I'm going to get this putt to stop. Two feet down, and it just constantly slopes all the way off the green. Just got to find the top of the slope. It should break right and then back towards the cup the further it gets down. Now I've actually under-hit that. Now this should start to turn towards the cup. But no, as feared, there was just no way I was stopping that. I'm going to putt this. I've actually not um, took a putt from the fringe since the latest update. That's online, have we hit it? Oh, I didn't hit it and it's going to be my second bogey off the round. And like I actually said a few holes ago, one misplaced shot on this course on any hole and you're going to be in trouble. Hole number 16, I think we can carry this bunker. Tiny fast. Now, I swung that as fast as I possibly could, and I just missed the perfect. This should kick right. And that should be nothing more than a wedge into this green. 111, yeah. Oh, I'm in between clubs. Certainly not pitching it. My Sam wedge with full backspin should be good here. This is a tough shot, though. Playing the slope in the wind. Oh, that's a laser beam. Perfect. What a strike. This should sit and hopefully spin back. Why, that didn't generate very much backspin. I do feel... With the non-default balls, like the epic balls and that, the default balls don't generate as much spin as a, a normal golf ball should. And I think we are being punished for using default balls. But it's another birdie. My sixth birdie of the round. 
oh, this is a tester. I don't think I've got the yardage to play the left-hand side. I'm going to have to take yardage off this shot. So let's go full loft. Huge fade shot here. Try and turn this massively from left to right. It's another grey slow. And with the amount of fade... That ball has missed the right-hand side of the fairway. I really needed the perfect. This is horrible now. Can't be short. Do not want to be short here. Let's try and play the backstop and hopefully get this ball feathered and back down towards the flag. I'm going to have to go pitch and wedge here with full loft and full backspin. Not the best of lies. That's came out well. It's came out better than I had hoped. Please find the backstop. This is going to be another pot that I just cannot hold. This, if this doesn't go in the hole, it's going way off the green, I feel. This is horrible. I'm going to have to aim so far left. And the problem I've got here, the further left I aim, the more right it's going to turn. But aiming at that ranch building, now I've just tapped that. It just finds the slope. And it's just going to break hard right and probably off the green now. It has done. That's all stemmed from my poor tee shot there. Really had to find fairway to give myself a, a better approach shot in and play this green better. So many tears to this green. Get in for the par. Get in for the par. Just misses on the right-hand side. It's going to be another bogey. It's been such an up-and-down round. Sadly, I moved back to three under par. Just these two or three poor shots that I've had have really killed me. There's another tiny slow, but that should work out well. I'm thoroughly enjoying the golfing experience that this course offers. The views and the scenery... And the challenge the course is offering. So hopefully we can pick up a birdie on this final hole. It's going to loft up this driver once again and fully attack it. We should get a nice kick here. There's a perfect. This ball should kick hard left. Has it got the legs? It's actually kicked right. I never seem to be able to judge which way the ball's going to kick these days in this game. I think we can chip this. Ball's going to shoot left at my feet. Green is going to turn right. It's a good execution. This should run up towards the flag. That's a good chip. Hopefully I can walk away with the birdie. And finish it four under par. But what a fantastic course. That should turn. It does turn. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We do finish with a 67 four under par. But what a fantastic course. Please get out there and play it if you haven't already done so. But that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. And until the next video, take care. Peace out. And love you all. Bye.